I'm not the case. Jamie Goodman, outside KC, taking you inside KC. Installation has begun of the Artemis One solar array wings on the Orion spacecraft and inside Kennedy's Neil Armstrong operations and checkout building. A component of Orion's service module, the arrays will supply the spacecraft's power, propulsion, air, and water. Shown in one of the four panels that will generate 11 kilowatts of power and span about 63 feet. The first in a series of increasingly complex missions, Artemis One will test the Orion spacecraft and space launch system as an integrated system ahead of the crewed flights to the moon. Under the Artemis program, NASA will land the first woman and the next man on the moon in 2024. A plant experiment featuring radishes PH-02 will soon be on its way to the International Space Station's advanced plant habitat. Two sea carriers planted Wednesday will fly aboard Northrop Grumman's 14th Commercial Resupply Services mission to the space station. The launch aboard the Cygnus spacecraft is targeted for September 29th from NASA's Wallace Flight Facility in Virginia. The APH is a highly automated plant growth chamber that is able to closely regulate variables related to plant growth. The PH-02 will help scientists understand how to reliably grow nutritional food crops in space, which is critical for NASA's sustainable human exploration of the Moon and Mars. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov slash